Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Neapolitan coffee. Or as my grandma used to say, Café Napoletana or Napoletan. And we've got a few different items here. We've got your Ili Espresso. Ili. Ili Espresso. We've got the spout area. This is your bottom where you pour the water in. This is your little percolating area here. This is where the coffee flows out of. All right. So the first thing you want to do is take the base here that you're going to put the water in and you want to heat it up on the stove over here. I'm just going to put that on a low heat. Out there. Now I've already boiled some water in a kettle. I'm going to wait until that is warm enough. Then I'm going to take the water and pour it in the pot. And we want to fill it to the 24 ounce mark, which I've already pre-measured. It's about three cups. There you go. All right, now here comes the fun part. We're going to have to add the coffee to this because if you heat it up regularly, this whole apparatus gets really, really, really hot. So it's good to put preheated water into this. All right, so I'm gonna take this percolator top here, put this in lightly so that the water doesn't overflow. And you can see the steam kind of coming out of the top there. I'm gonna be very, very careful. So now I've got my Ely coffee beans. Already ground these this morning. I'm going to measure out eight tablespoons of coffee. I'm gonna pack it in there like you would with espresso. Create a little layer there. It's about three, I think. I've already lost count. I'm really good at this. Turn off the heat so the water isn't overdone. Let's do one more. That is packed nicely in there. Now I'm gonna take the top filter thingy here, put it over, and be very, very careful. This handle is extremely hot. There we go. All right, so as you can see, I have the pot of hot water. The coffee is at the top right here. And now I'm going to take this top portion, fasten it on top, like so. I have to be very careful here. It's just a little exercise in flipping it over without getting burned. Let's grab this. There we go. So now all the hot water that was in the bottom is being filtered through where our compacted coffee was. So we have to wait for about three minutes. Hopefully it will be delicious coffee. Oh! Cucumella is another word to describe this Neapolitan coffee pot, which pictured here belonged to my grandmother. It goes back, I want to say, about 75 years, but it might be even older than that. You can see the natural wearing from so much use over the years. I also want to mention that there are much newer versions of these Neapolitan coffee pots, which you can buy online. I've included some links below in the description, and they're not that expensive. There's definitely value in getting one of these. It makes some really, really delicious coffee. By the way, the specific style of pot actually originated in France in the early 19th century, so not entirely an Italian creation. There you go. Look at that nice coffee coming out there. Hey kid, your grandma will be proud of you. Oh man. That's good. And that is pretty much it. This is how I'm gonna make coffee from now on until this thing uh, craps the bed, which I don't think it will do anytime soon. Thanks so much for watching.